Uh, ever notice a funky smell around the lakes this time of year? It kind of smells like rotten eggs. Well, Jan from New Brighton did earlier this week and wrote to us wanting to know why. Why do some Minnesota lakes smell like sulfur in the spring? Good question. Heather Brown did some sniffing in uh, Columbia Heights. On the north side of the lake inside Kordiak Park. Tell me when you start feeling that smell. Right here. <laughs> and now I do. Yes, <laughs> now I do. It was just like a wall. Here it is. It smells a lot like Old Faithful. Whoa. It smells. Yeah, it sure does. So we brought in a U of M lake expert to find the culprit. We have Jan here who asked the question, Judy who just stopped by because she wants to know the answer, and Jim, our expert. Now, where does the smell come from? Well, there's some bacteria that grow in the lake. That bacteria breathes in the sulfates that are in the decaying plants at the bottom of the lake. It's like they're living in. It's a feast. Uh, yeah, it's a feast. Them. It's Thanksgiving for them. That bacteria then turns those sulfates into smelly sulfide. It smells like rotten eggs. So what happens in the springtime is the, the snow melts and the water starts flowing out of the lake. Um, and as it flows out, basically it's full of that sulfide. So we've been here for 45 minutes or so. I thought I'd get nose blind, but I no, can still you don't. smell it. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Is this smell dangerous? Um, it can be. Um, Let's Jan get off the bridge. <laughs> so should Jan and Judy and Duke and Buddy not be walking it each day? Uh, no, it's it's not. It's worth just a worrying small about. area. Yeah, it's a small area. Not all Minnesota lakes have a lot of sulfates, so um, that's why not all the lakes smell. Yeah, so not all of them will get that smell. What does it say about the lake? The quality of the lake? Uh, good question. Uh, one of the big things it says is that you have a really productive lake. Which makes sense because it's urban and shallow. Great. I mean, good. Thank you. And now you can go share all this knowledge with your friends? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Heather Brown. I should give you my card, but of course I don't. I'm a professor, so I don't have one. WCCO, 4 News. Uh, Jan tells Heather that the smell usually goes away within a few weeks. Uh, when the ice breaks up, it's going to let more sulfide out and more oxygen in, and eventually they'll be odor-free. Heather would love to meet you and answer your good question. Just email her through WCCO.com slash links.